Hey guys, welcome to the Sustainable Life Habits channel. Today I'm taking you guys through three exercises to help you target your glutes a little better. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm taking you guys through three techniques that you can use in order to target your glutes a little bit better. Now, before we get into this, let's talk about why we need to do this. Now, as a coach, I see a lot of clients that come in, particularly female clients that come in, and they can't necessarily target their glutes or they want bigger glutes or they have great leg development, just not so much in the glutes. So I'm gonna teach you how to go into the gym do the, what we call or what we refer to, refer to as priming movements in order to get those glutes firing before we go into these compound lifts such as a squat or whatever the case may be. So with that being said, let's start by getting our glutes firing. Number one that we have on the list, we're gonna be doing just some good plain and simple glute squeezes. So we can do these anywhere. They don't require any equipment. A Little bit awkward, but we're still gonna go through them anyways. All you're gonna do is you're gonna stand there and you're just gonna hold yourself and we're just gonna squeeze the glutes, hold them for about five seconds, let go. Again, squeeze them, hold it for five seconds, let go one more time, squeeze them, five seconds. So I, with that simple movement, I can already feel the glutes. Let's go to movement number two, and that is our banded hip thrusts. So for this one, you're gonna need a band like this. It can be thick, thin, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna work. All we're gonna do is find some place to anchor it, loop it around. And create that loop like that, step into it. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place that band right around our hips. We're gonna walk it out. And all we're looking to do here is we're gonna bring the hips back, hinging right at the hips, and we're gonna thrust out. And as we go, we're gonna, again, squeeze with the glutes. Yeah, you can zoom in on the glutes. <laughs> Here to go back. We're gonna extend, squeeze the glutes, hold it. One more time, extend, squeeze the glutes, hold it, and walk it back. So for this third move, all we're looking to do is some glue bridges, very simple, no bands, no nothing, no equipment. We're just gonna hop down on the turf or wherever you are. Just gonna hop down, lie down on our back, bend those legs, and all we're gonna be doing is thrusting our hips, towards the ceiling, and as always, squeezing your glutes. So something about this for me is I find with the wider stance, toes pointed slightly out, I can actually target my glutes a little better. So again, we're gonna thrust, squeeze in those glutes, hold it, back down, one more rep. Squeeze, hold, and back down. All right, you guys, I can feel the glute pump right now. Hopefully you guys can too. Actually, before we go, I just want you to know how many reps should you be doing. The idea is just be able to get that mind-muscle connection. Once you can get that, or at least get that glute pump, you're gonna at least feel it now, or it's gonna get your brain triggered to start using that muscle. As we go in, it just makes it a little bit easier to target. So how many do you need to do? Do three to five reps. If you can feel it, do another three to five reps. How many sets? Keep doing it until you feel it. Might be three to five sets as well. Anyways, you guys, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you guys at the next one.